is some of our people that's in the so-called Prince Hall Lodge. So, I, it, it, this is a very important book, and I want everybody to go out and get this. The problem, actually, it's two parts. This is part um, part one, and this is part two. And part two is kind of hard to find. Yeah, part two. Actually, actually, you can actually um, get a copy of that in Camden. Brother, oh, yeah. name, brother named um, Larry Miles. Larry Miles, a lot of unique Sister Ride stores face, face. in Camden. On um, I think uh, Sixth six, six Street. Sixth Street. Oh, he's still open. Yeah, he's still open. Right off of Market. Right off of Market, Sixth Street. Right. So we put that on the tape. Please, so definitely you can get that book. Long time, so is your boy. Who wrote that again? David McRitchie. David McRitchie. Hmm. Part two. I don't even know where I got this one from. This is part two. Larry has that. Larry has this one. Yeah, okay, yeah. both of them. Yeah, David McRitchie. Yes. This is, yeah. I, I like that one better. That's a good cover. They yeah, this both is. Both of them were in that Yeah, that book yeah. well, talks about the language of the Europeans. And they spoke Gaelic. And they spoke Gaelic. It was like, like when most people go to Bryn Mawr in Philadelphia. Anybody know what Bryn Mawr means? What is it? Did you say black? Bryn Mawr. Mm. Um, no, I just want to make a comment um, or say something here. Um, I, um, I guess I've spent my whole life studying stuff. And um, what I see missing is a, a nomenclature or a set of uh, uh, definitions, meanings. Um, because if I can start with that, then I can adjust it to every aspect of whatever I have to learn here. And I'm here to learn stuff that I've been reading since I was four. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to learn stuff that was never, taught, taught. ever taught no. in school. But it would be very helpful to have a, uh, a list of terms. Like you say more, when I hear more, I think of black folks that came from somewhere. Came from somewhere else. And landed in Europe and influenced the population. Well, but brother. I don't really know. I don't really have a good foundation of what that means, so I would like to have a good set of terms, definitions, and what they mean. Well, and the first thing I would suggest people get is an unabridged dictionary. That's number one. Get an unabridged dictionary. You look up definition. A thesaurus also. A thesaurus is another, like another dictionary. And actually, I always suggest people to get a law dictionary too. Those are the three areas. That's an unabridged dictionary, not a bridge, unabridged, a thesaurus, and then a law, and a law dictionary. And also, Brother Abdullah and Brother Taj and Sister Rise is actually setting up. They have books. We have books out here for people to pick up to start doing their own study. But my son is nine, and I said teach my son since he was born to go through a dictionary. Malcolm said to know diction. Diction means speaking. So when you're dealing with diction and you understand language, that's why they can never trick Malcolm up on anything. He understood every word. When you're reading something, you go through each word and you break each word down. You find that, like Brother Abdullah, the prefixes and suffixes, the prepositions and all. So when you start seeing these things, you start tying them together. You have that time for that. And Abdullah and I just was discussing, talking about institutions that we need. But we need the finance to get the institutions. Like you said, the finances is in the church. That's where the finances are. They give it up to, to ministers. We're working on it, trying to IRS. But IRS, yeah, that's the number one. I mean, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a, hey man, I can talk about that too, but I don't want to go too far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beyond somebody's head. Because right. if you study the IRS code, you would know that nobody's supposed to pay taxes. Right. And actually, it's in the Constitution. And it says India is not taxed. So they're coding, they put it inside the code and in between it. They say India is exempt. They said not taxed. So that's the difference between being exempt and not taxed. Exempt is a privilege. It's a double one. It's a, it's a language. It's all based on language. No, what I'm saying is, on the one hand, they got us thinking the 14th and uh, part of everything and the reason for being taxed. Well, and then on the other hand, yeah. if, if if you look at the reality of it, then not only shouldn't we be taxed, but we shouldn't even be subject to the court. 
Well, the thing is that how they did it, again, that's why they have to keep you in the state of mind of being African American. Mm -hmm. Because foreigners are supposed to pay taxes, period. Not the indigenous people. That's why you have these um, white wing groups out here talking about no taxation without representation. But number one, let's go back to sovereignty, but they gotta go home. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we, you know, we the only ones that's not accepted that we're home. You know, so this is why all this stuff is, this confusion is going on. And I don't understand, but like I said, like I don't understand the leaders, the so-called leaders. You hear me say so-called, they're not my leaders. You know, they can't lead me. Nobody being black. I'm sorry, but you can't speak to me neither. Like, I can have brother Abdul to speak for me, or when you speak for me, then I'll give you a message to deliver. But they can't speak for me. It's not happening. And number one, they would know that we are, we're, we're already here. We're already on our land. It's not, we're not foreigners, we're at home. I know some people probably say, well, where did we come from? No, we're already here, when Columbus got here. But again, who's teaching this? And a man will treat you right, the darn ain't gonna teach you right. So in order for me to have control, you have to say that you can't do something else. That's what they've done. And it's really to be, if you look at that, see African American, think about it. No other group of people call themselves a whole continent. They are called an Irish American, Scottish American, but they're not that neither because we were there also. I mean, just think about it. We calling ourselves the whole continent, an African, then hyphen American. Two continents. There's three. There's three continents. <laughs> yeah, three continents. <laughs> I'm like, I'm still trying to figure like, damn, do they have a flag for that? <laughs> I mean, seriously, do they have a flag for those three continents? <clears throat> I'm still trying to find it. Somebody can help me out. Y'all find it. But it's even deeper when you think about it. It's a European man named Africana that named Africa Africa. You let a European name it and then you follow it. Well, we have Europeans naming us to this day. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm just saying, you know, Africa and African, we just go along with European concepts. Well, see, you still have some people, on one hand, they want to be in the world. On the other hand, they want to be out of the world. One foot in, one foot out. Mm. You're African with an African name, or you wear an African garb, but when you go to work, you're back to Billy again, Billy Johnson, <laughs> instead of being who you are. See what I'm saying? So it's like they, they, they have you. They already got you. So we're trying to fight to, you know, be who we are. We don't have to fight. Just be. Just be who you are. That's all you have to do is be it, not pretend, because this man can't give you your birthright. This man can't even give you your name. So for the people that go to court, to get a court order to change a name, that's kind of crazy. They change from one slave name to another slave name. And I don't like, and Abdullah gonna correct me because there's no such thing as a slave name. No, Dramatic a, name. No, no, our people do not have, our people were not given slave names. Yeah. They were given Germanic names. Germanic names. Yes. And they were German names that, that we had. They're not slave names. There's no such thing as that. For our people to go there and pay for another name, when they said that big thing right on the wall says Emancipation Proclamation, how many people know what that means? I love this place. They got Dress Scott case up there too. Oh, it's cool. oh I like this. We got the Dress Scott case. Man, what does that mean right there? Let's ask some children. No, we ain't gonna ask you. Get out of here, man. <laughs> what you know? Emancipation Proclamation. It's a big man, you know. Who we call sister? Sister, you don't know him? We didn't teach them. Okay, that was supposed to be the setting free of so-called slavery, and it's not even a law. And our people hold it up as if it is a law. It's a proclamation. Emancipate means to be set free, and proclamate means to proclaim. So when do we ever proclaim who we are? Did we do it yet? No. So we're we're proclaiming who we are. It's a public announcement. That's all it is. And oh, and see what happens. We keep we are bigger people. Think about it. We are begging. Excuse me. Could you pass legislation for us to go in the next 25 years? It's a privilege. We have a right to cast your ballot. Not your vote. Your ballot. It's totally different. Casting up the ballot. Malcolm was right when he said the ballot was a bullet. He didn't say 
vote because voting is a purpose, it's a franchise, and it's actually dealing with discrimination. It's under the Civil Rights Act. Sorry. Civil rights. I mean, a lot of those things fall under civil rights. That's why I didn't understand why he was preaching that when he was in Gina. Because it's only from discrimination. That's all the civil rights is for. Look it up and do your research on it. It's just the as the information. It's inside law dictionaries. And when you look up the civil rights, it's going to say it's look up the color of law. And it applies to color people. That's in the NWCP. So, yeah, I mean, they got the pictures, you know what I'm saying? And he was just like, nah, man, they didn't break it down. And two is kind of hard to find. Actually, actually, you can actually um, get a copy of that in Camden. Brother, oh, yeah? brother named um, Larry Miles. Larry Miles, a lot of unique sister in Camden. Yes. This is, yeah. I, I like that one better. That's a good cover. Yeah, yeah, this both is, are the same, that cover. Yeah, that book yeah, that well, talks about the language of the Europeans. And they spoke Gaelic. Yeah. They spoke Gaelic. It was like, like when most people go to Britain, in some of our people that's in the so-called Prince Hall Lodge. So, I, it, it, this is a very important book. And I want everybody to go out and get this. The problem, actually it's two parts. This is part um, part one, and this is part two. And part two. On, um, I think, uh, Sixth six, six Street. Sixth Street. Oh, he's still over? Yeah, yeah he's still over. Right off of Market. Right off of Market, Sixth Street. Right. So we'll put that on our tape. Hey, so definitely you can get that book. Long time, so is your boy. <laughs> David McRitchie. David McRitchie. Hmm? Part two. I don't even know where I got this one from. This is part two. Larry has that. Larry has this one? Yeah, okay, yeah, both of them. Yeah, David McRitchie.